Joe, you're keeping it real with Al Shopton. Yeah, thank you. Um, one thing that is really, as an attorney and everything, that's so discouraging about this case is the way, and i got to put it on partially on you, Reverend Al, <clears throat> is the way that this is just getting incredibly distorted. I've just listened to you for two and a half, or about two and a half hours, and you are assuming it's race-driven. You are assuming Zimmerman is, is guilty. Um, you... You are making just as many assumptions as you're criticizing your opponent for making. And tell me how I have said that he was guilty or that it was race. You, 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 you what did I say race. to do that? You, you said it. You said that the community was based on race. Or, and you no, say, I did not. You I said that. that no, no. You are you are stating something that is not true. I okay, said well then that. Tell me right wait, now. wait a tell minute. Me right now. You Slow down. You know, you're not going. You know we're right. not in court, and you're not a prosecutor. You said a statement I never said. What I said was that we did not bring race in this, that when the lawyers and family called me in, they felt that it was a race case. That is what I said. And I said there has been allegations of race throughout Sanford before when Janae Ingram brought that up. Now, tell me where I said that it was race and that he was guilty. Oh, you're a smart enough guy. You know darn well. Yeah, because you, you quote things, that? and when someone repeats the facts, you can't handle them. Are you you should that? get you should get your facts if you're going if you're going to make a statement. It should facts. be accurate. You, now, you, now you're going to turn around and ask me what I believe after you misstated what I said. Let's you go to Sam in Detroit. Sam.